Within this lesson, we'll add and multiply unit fractions to build fractions greater than 1 using visual models. Let's look at 6 times 1 half. And let's draw a number line to go ahead and show how it is that we can figure out 6 times 1 half. Here's 0, here's 1, 2, 3, and 4. 6 times 1 half. Well, we can write 6 times 1 half as repeated addition. Let's do so. How many 1 halves would we be adding? Right. 6 of them. So 6 times 1 half does equal 1 half plus 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 another half. How would we show this on our number line? Well, we don't have halves yet. So it's best that we break apart our number line into halves, and then we can label them as well. So that'd be 0, 1 half, 2 halves, 3 halves, 4 halves, 5 halves, 6 halves, 7 halves, and 8 halves. 6 times 1 half, our repeated addition, that's plus a half, plus another half, plus another half, plus another half at 4 halves, plus another half to get to 5 halves, and plus another half to get to 6 halves, which also equals 3. 6 times a half does equal 6 halves, which does equal 3. One other thing that you might have noticed is that we could have combined a half and a half to get a whole. So if we draw those parentheses in there with our repeated addition, it would be 1, 2, and 3. Eight times one-third. We know that how many thirds equal a whole? Right, three-thirds. So let's break apart a number line into thirds. So we have zero-thirds. We'll start with the three-thirds to count by those holes. Six-thirds, which also equals two, and nine-thirds, which also equals three. 8 times 1 third, we could mark 1 third and 2 thirds, 4 thirds and 5 thirds on the number line, and 7 thirds and 8 thirds on the number line. And the other thing that we can do that kind of helps us look at this is to rewrite 8 times 1 third as repeated addition. How many thirds are we adding together there? Right we would be adding together eight of them. So there's are eight thirds. And in this case, we know that three of those thirds does equal a whole. So if we drew some parentheses, it would help us figure out this problem. How many thirds again make up a whole? Right, three. So that's three. That's six. And then two more would equal eight, or eight thirds. Eight times one third is equal to eight thirds. So I first traveled the whole, which was three thirds, six thirds, and then I traveled the rest of the way to get to eight times one third just as our addition shows right here. Traveled three of those thirds, another three of those thirds, and then a one-third and another one-third. So I got to eight-thirds, which also equals two holes and two-thirds. Draw a number line to express this, 11 times 1 fourth, 
and also draw it as repeated addition to help you figure out this answer. Pause the video while you do your work. How many fourths equal a whole? Right, it would be four fourths. So I'd have four fourths there, another four fourths. How many fourths am I at now? Right, eight of them, but they want 11 of them. So I still have to add in three more. Let's draw it out. Starts at zero force. Next went to four force. Next went to eight force. Separate it into force and continue that. This would be 12 force. And then how would we draw what we represented by our repeated addition here? What'd you draw? You draw it like this, one hole, two holes, which is eight force. And then we still have three more force to travel to be able to get to 11 force. 11 force does equal two and three force. Check over your work. How about 13 times one-fifth? How many five-fifths would that be first to be able to get up to 13? Right, it would be two of them. And then you would have to add in how many more? So two times five-fifths already is 10 fifths. And then you would have to add in three more fifths. So this is really two times a whole, which is just two, plus a fifth, plus a fifth, plus a fifth, which is three fifths. Two plus three fifths does equal two and three fifths. Here's another one to think about. 17 times one six. Remember that six six does equal one whole. You try. I'll help you out a little bit. All right, six, six, and it's a whole number times six, six, plus the rest of the sixths to get to 17. Count by sixths, six, six, 12, six. That would only be what whole number here? All right, two, and then you still need how many more? You would need five more, six. So it's two times six six. I guess you could express this as two times six six plus five times one six, which is that unit fraction. Two times six six is two holes, plus five six, which does equal two and five six. Seventeen times one six is seventeen six which does equal two and five six. One of the things to remember is using that visual model could help you figure out this problem. We went zero six, six six, 12 six. It wasn't quite as much as 18 six. It was actually just one less than that there. So we traveled one, two, and then we traveled five more to be able to get to 2 and 5 sixths.